So over the past week, the players that have returned to Compton have started their season as they do every year with testing, both with the medical team and here in the gym as well. So today, I'm gonna give some of those tests a go myself and try and find out a little bit more about what they mean and what the teams are looking for. So joining me today to talk me through some of those exercises is Head of Physical Performance and Sports Science, Tom Farrow. So Tom, thank you very much. I'm actually really nervous, I have to say. <laughs> I've seen the players doing this over the past few days. And I'm not quite sure I'm gonna live up to the expectations, but right. let's get straight into it. What have you got for me first? Uh, so we're gonna do three things today. Uh, first one we're gonna do is counter movement jump. Okay. So all you need to do to start is stand on okay. those facing this way. Facing this way, okay, cool. Okay, so you're just gonna stand still. Yeah. All you need to do is get your weight. And what, what does this, what does this measure? Is this connected to an app on your phone? This is connected to an app, yep. So this, um, all we're gonna do is one jump, but from that one jump, we get loads of data in terms of okay. you know, left, right differences, imbalances, power, height, and, uh, and loads more. So, <laughs> there you go, 14.3. Is that a very low number? Uh, that's okay. <laughs> Not quite what I've done. No, no comment. Did. Okay. <laughs> Um, okay, same again, so like 80-90% now. Okay. Did the number even go up? 17.3. Okay, okay, okay good, go okay, go back. Right, last one. Okay. So also on this one, try and come down as fast as you can, as well as get as high as you can, okay? Okay, no pressure. Yeah, go. Okay. 22.5. Yes, progress, <laughs> that's all I care about. <laughs> Okay. okay, so that basically <laughs> allows us to um, mainly look at power output. Okay. Uh, and we can look at left right differences, so okay. any imbalances, we can come up with exercises to do something about that. Okay, Tom, let's move on to the second exercise. We've moved the pads over to this very interesting piece of equipment. What have you got for me next? Okay, so this one we're going to do a single leg squat. Okay. okay. The first thing to do is weigh in again, so if you just stand okay. behind the bar, just standing up straight. Yeah. So on don't, these? Yep, so just don't okay. touch anything. Okay, okay so you're gonna lift one leg up in front, okay? And then just gradually build up, pushing through this leg. Position like that, so you're gonna hold your back. Okay. Okay, Yeah. 70% effort. Okay, that, I think right. I'll do slightly more than 70% there. <laughs> okay, then rest, okay. So now you're gonna do the other side. Okay, yeah, this one's 70% as well. Okay. Slide that way a bit. So you wanna try and keep everything in line. So your hip, knee and ankle all in line. So you're not, don't, don't try and be at this angle. Try and be nice and tall. Straight, That's am it. I straight? Yeah, looks good. Okay. Push, push, push. And rest. <laughs> okay, nice. So you're fairly well balanced. So okay. uh, 1,500 basically on the right. Okay. And 1,600 on the left. That doesn't feel, That's that doesn't seem so too bad, That's okay. Not, that's like um, 10 kilograms, if it's not much. Okay, cool. And what sort of numbers do the players get in comparison to that? How far am I away from a Premier League player? Uh, so top would be, I think three and a half thousand would be <laughs> okay. fairly high. Okay. Uh, but that's not bad, that's good. Okay, I'm halfway, that's yeah. fine. I'll halfway take that. and everything, that's your I'll target. I'll take that, yeah, half, exactly, yeah. halfway, yeah. and I feel like I've, I've achieved. Okay, let's do the next <laughs> one. Okay, so third and final test for me today. I'm not gonna lie, I don't even know what body parts go in what parts of this. It looks terrifying. Um, so talk me through this, this equipment. Okay, so this is a force frame uh, mm. from Val Performance, really useful bit of kit. Um, so you can test a load of different positions. So pretty much we can test any movement or sort of body part focus that we like. Uh, for today, at the moment, we're just gonna look at adductors and abductors of the legs. So adductors, yep. abductors of okay. the legs. Uh, so if you lay on your back, just facing up, ready? Squeeze first. first, squeeze yeah. first, let's go. <laughs> and rest. Oh my God, that's hard. <laughs> it's not bad, it's pretty good actually. Okay. Very good. That was difficult. Was I better at squeezing or better at pushing out? Pretty balanced, so that's one of the things okay. we're uh, looking at. Better at squeezing than pushing out. Okay. So <laughs> one of the things uh, one of the things we'd uh, look at is a balance between abduction and adduction. So okay. you want a fairly one-to-one -one ratio okay. on that. Um, but then also obviously absolute output and, um, and left to right differences as well. So with the players, we'd be looking for everyone to be above at least 400. Uh, but the best scores would probably be above 600 for some. Wow, okay, so um, what did I get? You was 300, pretty much. Oh, so that's, that's over halfway, that's, that's fine, yeah. I, I take Not that. Far off. And how does this one and how do the ones we've done translate out onto the pitch as well? Like what sort of, 
uh, benefit of having these muscles balanced, will that then translate out on, into the... Yeah, so the idea is with all the testing, and we do a lot more testing this obviously, but um, is to build a profile of the athlete and the player and understand uh, where they're strong, what's their strong points, what's any uh, asymmetry side to side. And it's normal to have some, but you don't want any big ones. Um, and it's something we can correct with training. So if there's a big asymmetry from one leg to another in certain exercise, we can obviously do exercises that are correct for that. Um, yeah, that's it really. Just, it's really about building a profile and understanding the athlete as best we can. And then how regularly will you then test them again? Are they a couple of months' time? Or? So some, so we do a big battery in pre-season, uh, test basically the whole body as, mm. as much as we can in, a, in a, about an hour worth of testing, of strength assessments. And then what we'll do is certain tests we'll do very frequently. So the test you've just done, we'll do mm -hmm. most match day plus twos. Oh, okay. Uh, we'll also do hamstrings then as well, just to get an idea of how they might have recovered from the game. Uh, other tests like jumps would probably do quite frequently, uh, whereas some would just do maybe in rehab scenarios to okay. test where they've, uh, how they've recovered from what they've been doing and, and compared to b before their injury, basically. Okay, well, an hour of testing sounds like quite a lot. I've done about five minutes yeah. and I'm shattered. So <laughs> I'm happy, not, happy with happy with that. Squeezing the whole time. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> There's a lot of moving around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, thank you very much, Tom, for your help. Um, but I think I'm going to leave it to the professionals.